Yeah, good morning. My name is uh, Jason Soames. I'm from uh, Camarillo, California. Uh, born and raised in California, actually, and uh, been flying now for, I think, 32, 33 years, something like that, as I'm getting older. Um, yeah, I learned to fly in an aerobatic biplane at the age of 16, and uh, been flying my entire career. Uh, just uh, something I love to do. I get to fly a lot of great airplanes. Uh, I fly an airplane for work, and I get to fly for a museum, uh, the Commemorative Air Force, get to do a bit of that. And then I bought this MIG here a few years ago, and I've uh, been trying to play with this a little bit and take it on the air show circuit. Yeah, so this is a uh, Polish-built MiG-17. It was originally designed by the Russians. This is a 1959 model. Uh, again, built under license by Poland, uh, in Poland, I'm sorry. And it's, uh, they call it a LIM-5, L-I-M, which means built under license and design number five. Uh, there was a LIM-3, LIM-2, other, other designs, but this is a LIM-5. And this is one of the first airplanes fitted with an afterburner. It's kind of why I bought the airplane. Uh, I mean, A, it's a great looking design, great classic design, but it's also the afterburner gives a little extra, extra punch for the air show circuit. You know, it shoots a big, big, you know, fireball out the back. And it's also equipped with uh, standards aeronautic smoke generators. I have one under each wing. They're self-contained uh, smoke units that uh, create their own heat and, uh, and pump smoke oil in and make a great, uh, great smoke out of each wing to kind of, so you can see where the airplane is in flight and kind of give it another uh, additional depth that you can kind of see it a little better as, as a spectator and uh, just a cool, cool little feature that this airplane actually came with. I was lucky to adopt this airplane. Uh, we don't say buy when you get to this level, it's more adopt, you're just the next caretaker. But uh, this was the old Red Bull MiG that was uh, flown by Bill Reisman for many, many years on the air show circuit. And, uh, it was then purchased by another gentleman, and I bought it from him. It was sitting for a few years, and I kind of got out of mothballs and got it back out and put it on the air show circuit. So I'm super excited to uh, fly for you guys uh, this weekend. So I'd say the favorite maneuver, it's going to sound really boring, but uh, after years of doing air shows, uh, you know, and, and getting feedback from the crowd, you know, a lot of, a lot of air show performers do a lot of vertical maneuvers and over the top, and I do do that in this airplane. But actually, just a high speed low pass or a banana pass with the smoke generators and maybe the burner lit is actually, A, it's the simplest maneuver to fly, and uh, and the crowd seems to really enjoy it. You know, it's not really, uh, it's not hard in the airplane. I mean, we'll push it up to 550 knots is kind of my top end of the envelope. Uh, so, you know, those passes will range, you know, range from like 300 to 550 knots, but I mean, I, is it my favorite? I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's a crowd favorite, you know, and uh, just any time you're in the airplane. The airplane is such a great flying airplane that uh, doing anything in it's fun. You know, it's uh, 300 knots and above, it's just a, a joy to fly, and, uh, and uh, one of the best flying airplanes I've flown at speed. Aviation is an amazing community. It's an amazing career. Uh, anyone that's interested in all in getting into aviation that likes to look up at airplanes, ever been on an airplane and enjoyed it, it's it's all I've ever done. It's all I do. It's all I want to do. It's an amazing A career, B passion, C hobby, and uh, you know getting into it is now easier than ever. And uh, it's just a, it's a great time to be a pilot. So if anyone has any interest in flying, you know, go to your local flight school or go online, do some research, and uh, and get into it. It's really, in all my years of flying, now is probably the best time. You know, pilot huge shortage for pilots for for hire, and uh, and it's just a great. Uh, a great uh, industry to get into. I've been here a couple years. I actually performed at this air show in a pit probably around 2005, I believe. I performed in a pit here just for one year with a little formation routine, me and some friends that had pit spy planes. Uh, so that was my first time uh, performing here. And I've been here as a spectator several times. And uh, and last year I brought, I have a large biplane called an AN2, a uh, big Russian biplane. I brought here last year as a static just to kind of hang out with my friends and, and watch the show.